Hey, guys. Hi. How's everyone today? We just wanted to come on here a little bit, and and uh, we're going to share a video at the end of this of this video about a two-year-old child prophesying, Jesus the King is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. So stay tuned. <clears throat> yeah, you'll miss it. After we're just going to share a few words of encouragement, and at the end of this, our broadcast will We'll see. It's about two minutes, 41 seconds. So you want to hang on to the end. Amen. Watch till the end. Yes. Uh, but anyway, her name is Lily, and, and she had had a vision of Jesus coming. And what, what really excited me is she frequently saying, Abba up, Abba up. Wow, man. <laughs> you know, Lily's mother, Chelsea, gives an account towards the end of the video, but I've added the full text of her explanation within our description box. And I've had many people question, how do you get to the description box? Guys, I'd strongly advise watching a YouTube video with the keywords of how do you open the description box in a YouTube video? And you'll find out from there. Now, I do not know exactly when this video was taken, but it really spoke to our hearts. Her dear sister, Glennis, sent this to us this morning. Now guys, I just want to talk to you a few minutes about the current events. Uh, <clears throat> we are armored up. We're going to stay that way, man. Yes, we are. You know, over the last uh, recent days, we've all seen the world experiencing some of the most major and most severe birth pangs ever before. I mean, wow. Thousand-year floods. I mean, you know, yes. maybe a thousand years ago it happened, but it's happening now, man. You got volcanoes going off. I don't know what all. Fires. You know, you've heard of the mass flooding in China, Europe, Turkey, the massive fires in the West Coast of America. And, and we've seen civil unrest erupt in Cuba, South Africa, France, Great Britain, Ireland, Australia, Iran, Lebanon, and other places all across the globe. Uh, and we've also been hearing very strong implications of, let me say this code-wise, world powers and rumors of world powers doing you-know-what that has been embracing the headlines. Yes. Guys, the world is on the brink of going over the edge at full throttle. The truth is God is in control. Yes. Just know and remember, God never deserts his children. And when we say God is in control, he's not causing all of this to happen, but he knew it was all going to happen. Amen. And it's in the, in the word of God in the Holy Bible. It was prophesied years, oh, yeah. thousands of years ago. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> one of the greatest promises in all the Bible is found in Hebrews 13.5. I hang on to that, guys. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. That's you and I. <clears throat> as powerfully straightforward as that verse is in the English, it is even more emphatic in the Greek. Amen. Here's how the Greek, the original translation says it. I will not in any way fail you nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake, nor let you down. Relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. And that's Hebrews 13, 5. Amen. Guys, hang on to that. Yes. You know, what a promise from, from the most high God who is not capable of lying. And he always keeps his word. Yes, he does. I know over the years, we've gone through oh, a yeah. lot. All of us have that live on this earth. But you know what? Jesus has never left us or forsaken us. He always comes through for us. You know, uh, I know in the English, double negative is a, an affirmative. Isn't it? Right? So the, yes. But in the Greek, you can use triple negatives. Yes. And, and your wife won't correct your grammar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's but the guys, only time. <laughs> but guys, uh, we realize, we realize 
and this climate of anxiety of, of unknowing and and all that stuff if you're dealing with fear of the future rest in the fact that your future is already secure in the finished work of Jesus amen you can trust him in faith yes knowing amen. that not a single hair of your head can fall to the ground without him allowing it if you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, he will never leave your side. He will be with us even when. I, I notice I'm not saying if, but even when we feel like God must hate us for missing the mark. That's not so. He sticks with his children no matter what. If and if we, we do miss the mark, we keep getting up again. Oh, yeah, we get back up. And if you don't believe me, just go ask Simon Peter, if you could, who cursed and swore and denied Jesus, saying, I don't even know the man. Yet when Jesus came, oh, I feel the anointing. I'm going to have to lay hands on somebody. When Jesus w w w went to his disciples, you know, the first thing he said, and where's Peter? After the resurrection. After the resurrection, you know, he, he, he mentioned Peter by name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's going to mention you and I by name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ooh, those are shouting words. Yes, they are. Hallelujah. You know, uh, uh, don't even be set back if someone loses their job because of set, set back, cutbacks or because they may have failed to do something or do something right or, or someone gets cancer or some other disease or someone falls into deep depression because tragedies do strike amen guys in my life in my life one thing i have learned is keeping my praise on for god amen no matter what trusting him i have found this to be very powerful in my life yes and uh, uh, one thing i i think of quite often is i often think of paul and silas praising God in the midnight hour, even after being whipped and flogged and put in prison and not even having their wounds dressed before being chained. Wow. That's Guys, cool. they praise God in the midnight hour. If you know the story, you know that an earthquake came and, and they were all freed and, and yes. the, the jailer was sorely afraid, but he, he dressed their wounds, and, and, and the two men of God led uh, the jailer and his family to the Lord. That's, Amen. That's right. There's power in praise. I mean, I know it's not easy. You know, when trouble comes into your life like a flood, don't sing the blues. Don't sing those songs that drive you to new depths of depression and make you want to curse God and die. You know, yeah, sing songs of praises to your God yes. because you know by faith a better day is coming. You know, those kind of songs are just old uh, beer joint, <laughs> beer drinking songs. You know, I know because my dad <laughs> used to hang out in those places. I mean, well, I did two years ago. <laughs> I've been set free, whom the sun sets free. Amen. Is free indeed. Guys, God wants us to sing the truth. Sing your praise to God. Fill your heart with praise. And no, it's not easy to praise God in this life many times. I suppose that's one reason why Hebrews 13, 15 says, Therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise yes. to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving yes. thanks to his name. Guys, yes. They call it a sacrifice of praise Amen. for a reason. You know? Amen. Amen. I don't know how else to say it. And know? I don't know about you, but I've, I've been I've, there though. I've sang those sacrifices of praise before. I remember one time many, many years ago before I met Brother Steve, um, I was on praise and worship team and yeah. my whole life was falling apart. But you know what? I thought, you know what? This may be happening through reasons that aren't in that case, it was reasons that weren't my fault. But 
I'm God is still worthy of my praise. And I got up there with the rest of the praise and worshipers. She had her tambourine. <laughs> yeah, I used to play the tambourine up there. I had my tambourine. And I got up there and offered a sacrifice of praise. Amen. And I may have had tears rolling down my eyes. And it wasn't really because how happy I was. It was because I knew God deserved my praises. And I knew a better day was coming. And Amen. and just remember, if you're in that place today, a better day is coming. Amen. Susie was more or less bad fast for a year. Yeah, there's yeah that a time in our life. Yes, yes. And uh, I was in, like an invalid for a year almost, and um, and oh my goodness, yeah. But I knew in my heart, and <laughs> unfortunately. Now, I know you all aren't like this, but unfortunately, some of the saints of God were judging me. I mean, they were judging me. Yeah, they were telling from the pulpit, if I wasn't at church, they were telling Steve there's sin in his wife's life or his life or I would get well. Sin in the camp. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, the, the times... There was a couple of times I managed to drag myself to church, even though I wasn't supposed to be out of bed. Yeah. And and then I'd hear it, you know. So and people were trying to cast devils out of me and everything else. And this is serious. And I, truth. I asked God, I said, God, is there and I knew there wasn't, but you know, after that you start wondering, you know, when people are saying so I said, God, is there a sin in my life? And God brought to my remembrance that scripture about this uh, blind man that Jesus and his disciples came upon. And the disciples said, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? (laughs) Jesus looked at him and said, I mean, no one sinned. This is for the glory of God to be manifested. And he immediately healed that man then. But he'd gone years being blind. And so let's, so while we're walking the walk and talking the talk, let's not judge our brothers and sisters in the Lord if they're going through a trial because, you know, next year might be your turn. And, (laughs) and sometimes we have to learn obedience by the things we suffer. And, you know, we don't like Jesus did, even though Jesus wasn't guilty of anything. But anyway, so God was always there for me. And I knew even during that time when all was going and people were judging me, I knew it wasn't the end of the story. I knew there was a better day coming and it did. Hallelujah. You know, (laughs) <laughs> they were even judging me, you know. My yes. Friend. Needless to say, we don't go to those <laughs> no. particular places anymore. No, no. But uh, glory, glory. But you have to forgive people. Oh, yeah. We forgave them. And, yeah, I had to. And we learned, we've learned more how not to act sometimes. By, by going to these churches. By some churches and, or some Christians that aren't really that are judgmental, we've learned how not to act. Yeah, we learn how not to act rather than what to do. That's how we learn what to do, so by what learning what not to do. <laughs> but God, praise we're not God. making it up. We're not making praise it up. Praise God. God's good, and he never left me nor forsook me, and he never left us nor forsook Amen. us. Hallelujah. Amen. God turned our lives around. Amen. And, you know, just hang in there. He's yeah. never going to leave you. And my Susie's here to keep me in line. <laughs> Just remember, the just live by faith. They don't live by feelings. They and live faith alone. And they don't live by circumstances. Amen. They live by faith. Well, guys, no matter what, our God is still with us. The God who can do anything and forgive any sin Amen. and calm any storm is still with us. And he is going to see us through. Amen. Remember, God is the one who's able to give beauty for ashes. He can take the worst of situations and turn it around for our good. Amen. Yes, yes. Regardless of the hurtful circumstances you may be facing today, in the midst of the pain, rise up and say with the psalmist from Psalms 42, 5, Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God. Amen. For I shall again praise him for the help of his 
presence. Amen. I mean, King Saul and the whole horde was looking for David to kill him. Yes. And he kept the praise of God on it. Oh, man. I, glory to God. Just feel like praising the Lord. And he didn't get mad and quit serving God. He Amen. kept serving him. Amen. You know, guys, God doesn't want us to give up. And let me say again, don't ever give up. God has not forgotten you. He's not forsaken you. We need to just keep trusting in him. I just want to share this little account given by Lily's mother. Her name, her mother's name is Chelsea. And this is going to be uh, part of that video at the end of this. And this is quoting Chelsea. At midnight, hours before this video was taken, Lily woke us up knocking and talking at her door. She was saying with urgency, something's coming, something's coming. She elaborated on her dream vision later in the day. I managed to catch this video at 18 seconds after I, uh, I took out her pass. I assume that means pacifier. And I say, what? She says, the king. It also sounds like she says, Abba up, push you up, and join Abba up several times. I, I, uh, I didn't teach her this. Excuse the poor angle. I was attempting to sneakily turn on and hide the camera. At the end, she bows three times, the number God uses for confirmation. The next day, she brought it up again while I was getting her breakfast. She said to me, Mama, open up because God is coming. And then proceeded to knock on the wall three times. No, I couldn't teach her this. She just turned two and is starting to really come up with diverse words and sentences, clearly. Her best understanding of God prior to this was nightly bedtime prayers, and we had yet to discuss the rapture or his second coming with her, being that she is, of course, so young. I hope this video blesses as many on YouTube as it has on Facebook, end of quote. Glory. Susie, read that Joel 2, verse 28 there. Joel 2, 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Amen. And guys, I love Matthew 25, 6. It says at midnight, they were roused by the shout. Look, the bridegroom is coming. Come out Woo! and meet him. Hallelujah. Guys, Jesus is coming. We will see you in the clouds. Uh, but before I, I get to Lily's uh, 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 video, Susie, just want to make a little announcement here. Okay. Should you wish to give to Haynes Ministries, and we do appreciate those of you that give and or pray for our ministry. In addition to PayPal, we now have a super thanks button. It's a dollar sign with a little heart around it and located under our video close to the share button. Yeah. Amen. Guys, and we do give you thanks in advance. Now, whether you should ever give or not, we're going to love you just the same. That's right. We're going to fellowship with you just the same. And now we're going to not going to spend our whole time on the video asking for money. No, this, and it's in our intention. And and we're still going to share prayers with you. I mean, take time best Amen. we can. Amen. Amen. But uh, anyway, in just a few seconds. We're going to, uh, Lily's video will play, and we hope you guys let us know what you think. God bless you. God bless you. And Maranatha. Maranatha.
going up. You're going up? Is that what she said? Up and up. Yeah? Up and up? Up and up. Who's coming? I love you, honey.